Welcome back guys, I'm Apoor again from Sex Media and today we are here at global launch of Nordic Blockchain. So we have Mr. AJ, uh, this is a short form of AJ by the way, but, it, 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 AJ. <laughs> yeah. but it seems cool, right? So uh, we're AJ, he's the head of, I mean, a regional VP and he's head of growth and uh, strategies over here. And also an official DJ at Nordic. <laughs> yeah. DJ, AJ. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> So yes, and uh, now we're gonna talk about. Uh, I mean, I'm just a simple question. First of all, like, uh, okay, so how how are you? I mean, I didn't ask that. Oh, I'm doing very well. I'm so happy to finally see Nordic blockchain going live, very nice. and uh, super happy with uh, the entire event that went through. Super. Yeah. yeah, I've seen. I mean, on a very short notice, so many people turned up, and because they believed in it, right? So very firm and very f uh, quick question on specifically on Nordic blockchain. Why do you think? What made you think like uh, that? There are plenty of blockchains in the market. Mm -hmm. uh, some are very good in processing DeFi protocols. Some are good at gaming or something. So what made you think like that? Yes, we really have a very decent uh, need and demand in the market for a layer one blockchain, which might support different industries, right? So what exactly? made you think? Well, that's a very good question. I myself ask all the time, why are so many blockchains being, uh, you know, they're coming into the market all the time. You know, uh, blockchain as a technology is so powerful and so unique. Uh, it can solve so many problems. But, uh, you know, at the end of the day, uh, technology alone cannot do itself. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it cannot just grow on its own. It needs users, it needs communities, and it needs to solve problems that are faced by the end users. Exactly. Uh, our expertise mainly comes from the point that we understand the pulse of the users. I don't want to install a wallet to transact on, you know, on, on a platform mm -hmm. as such. So these are the kind of questions uh, that we receive from users that I don't know how to buy a Bitcoin. I don't know how to invest in a project. I don't know how to take my money out. I don't know Although how to as a boomer also, like if you don't know anything, exactly. you're very new, then these are very basic questions you might exactly. ask. That's right. So that was one of the uh, things that we focused on a lot mm -hmm. while working on Nordic. As a technology, blockchain is in place. But apart from that, how do we enable every strata of the society to adopt blockchain? That is what our focus with Nordic is. And uh, because uh, now the technology, uh, the blockchain tech on, on its own has matured a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, we are one of the fastest and the most scalable blockchain as well. And uh, yeah, that's the reason why we are partnering with a bunch of uh, projects and we've already showed you some and many more to come. Yeah, I mean, it seems amazing that you haven't launched the complete blockchain yet, but you still have an exchange or uh, a gaming platform, a play trade also, uh, which is which is about to be deployed and developed over this blockchain because they already have that confidence that when it's going to come up in the market, uh, it will help them in scaling uh, the community, the platform, and even they might be having some more iterations as a DAO, right? So the people right. will be commanding, as you said, mm -hmm. it's, it's basically uh, fulfilling the needs of the community. Absolutely. And when it comes to needs, so we, we may ask people that what else you want on our blockchain okay. and we might launch the different versions of it, right? Absolutely, yeah. So uh, just to correct you, we are launched. Ah. So, and that's the reason we are testing out. So a testnet was live for a long time and now a mainnet is also live. And uh, we've been testing with uh, various projects. We are inviting more projects to come and build on Nordic mm -hmm. Chain. And of course, as you rightly uh, said, users will give us problems and our, it's our job to figure out solutions for them. And that's our focus. And that's our vision with the so company. Like you well. said, the blockchain is already live on testnet and everything. So uh, in case somebody like uh, as, as a new uh, gaming studio or maybe right. somebody who's struggling with which blockchain to choose and if they want to explore what benefits we can get over here. So what's the process? How do these guys can reach out to you? So we are reachable on multiple social media channels. You can follow us on Nordic uh, Twitter, write to us directly or just drop in an email at aj at nordic.io <laughs> and I'll be directly in touch with you guys. So yeah, that's something that I can surely do. That's super fast. That's super fast. So in case anybody is interested in uh, maybe... Uh, you know, you have a game or you have a DeFi finance protocol, it could be anything, right? Uh, you might be choosing some other blockchains as well, but it's better if you go multi-chain with different uh, new blockchains, which might give you exposure to different set of communities anyway. Absolutely. So that's very important when we say in fintech or in blockchain is diversification. So you can even do diversification through blockchains, you can choose multiple blockchains and explore where you can scale better. 
right and it's always better to good to have more and more people around you which are like minded Absolutely. i want to add one more thing blockchain is not about technology it's about people yeah so if there are no people there is no point of having a blockchain and that's so, our core focus as well to make right. sure that we build the largest community and onboard the next billion users in the crypto industry fantastic thank you so much aj for having us thank here you. and uh, we have couple of more amazing people from the team yeah so stay tuned with us